So I'm here today with Kath from Kit Legal and uh, Kath, just tell us a little bit about your journey and um, how you got into the legal profession. Yeah, sure. Um, I probably started off wanting to be a criminal lawyer growing up, watching movies and things yeah. like that. Um, but in my final year at law school, I got offered a full-time position in a corporate and commercial team at Thompson Gears. So that's really set my journey into corporate and commercial law. Okay. I was there for a couple of years and then went in-house in an IT company and then spent nearly 10 years in another mid tier firm yep. and a partner there. Oh, wow. Yeah. So it's sort of been all in that one area but in different roles. Yeah, okay. And um, you're just here on Franklin Street? Yes. In town, so just moved into a new office we recently? Have. We have, back in uh, March. Um, so even though we're based physically in Adelaide, probably 85% of our work is from interstate though. Okay. So yeah. I spend each Tuesday in Sydney um, okay. and then the team flies across to, to Sydney, Melbourne and Perth as required. Okay. Yeah. okay. And why did you decide to go out on your own? Um, there are a number of reasons. I guess um, from an external point of view, I became really convicted about our legal industry and how it, where it's going, the sustainability of it, mm. um, losing sight of where we were heading and being able to help people. Yeah. But then also um, from a more of an internal perspective, I was talking to so many women that had had children and come back to work and just seeing that no one was really thriving. They were barely surviving. Yeah. And I just thought, if I don't do something about that and try and change things, then you know, I can't sit here and complain yeah. about it. Yeah. What advice would you give to someone looking to start their own business? I think to find out your purpose is really important and it makes everything else really easy. Mm -hmm. um, so I grappled with that for quite a long time when I wasn't happy in trying to work out you know, whether I do something else or what I do. Um, but I really came back to why am I doing this, um, who am I trying to help, how can my skills best be used to help other people yeah. um, and that then shaped my product and service offering yeah. and then it really becomes a different conversation um, and easy to <coughs> execute because you can make decisions yeah. fairly quickly in line with what you're trying to achieve. So what's one piece of advice you, you give to clients all the time that you're surprised that people or clients don't know um, if there is any. Yeah, I think the biggest one would be to know what you want to achieve. Mm -hmm. I think you can have legal rights or do things um, that might comply with the law or enforce rights against people, but unless you know what you actually want to get out of it, yeah. you can go pretty astray. Yeah. So that's what we always start with. Yeah. What's the end point people want to get to and then how can we, from a legal perspective, help them yeah. get there. Yeah, and um, try and stay, I suppose, Commercial exactly choices. what what commercially they want to achieve. Yeah. 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 Okay. And any tips for somebody out there who's going to try to become a lawyer or looking to study to become a lawyer that you might want to pass on to people out there? Um, I think it's a really exciting time with technology and law, and um, I think I read some studies last year about the, the level of the population that have legal needs but don't get legal advice and it's huge, it's like over 80% or something. Okay. So there's a huge market out there yeah. of people, I guess the non-customers, <laughs> <laughs> that I, that's what I would be focusing on and um, using my skills as a lawyer, pairing that with technology to help that market. Yeah. And tell me about the client that you can help the most. Uh, the client we can help the most is in the financial services industry. Probably our absolute ideal spot would be a technology company that's doing financial services. Okay. So we apply that regulatory compliance knowledge in that in that industry. Yeah, and that's obviously changing quite rapidly all the time. Changing well. rapidly and the traditional um, regulatory landscape won't always easily apply to those disruptive yep. companies. So there's quite a bit of interpretation then as to how the laws apply to them, yeah. um, how they can navigate that. Yep. So that that's our ideal. Yeah, okay. And what's something that people would be surprised to know about you? Um, 
probably that I was a grunge sort of hippie when I was a teenager. <laughs> Yeah. A lot of people know that by me now. I don't okay. suspect so that. So was it a music choice? Yeah, music? Um, Jimi Hendrix, oh, yeah. The Doors, all of that. Yeah. Loved my flares. Um, loved not washing clothes, things like that. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Which a lot of people wouldn't know. Oh, no, no. Yeah. And what what do you do outside of work to switch off and just enjoy your time away from work? Um, Obviously, time with my family is really important. Um, I have a strong personal faith as well, so time with my church and, and doing stuff with that. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's really at the moment, probably hobbies is down on the list of priorities yeah. at the moment yeah. with two young kids. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't have much time to so, Exactly, so. exactly. And um, what's, what's happening uh, here at Kit Lee, anything exciting happening in the next few months? Just yeah. Just out for Christmas or like... Yep. Well, we released our um, technology platform two weeks ago. Okay. Um, so that's been awesome to be able to build that quickly and we're really happy with the, the product. Yep. So now it's about rolling that out to existing clients, but new clients. Yep. Um, we have a new employee starting in three weeks' time, Brilliant. so that's really exciting. Yeah. And he, um, we will compliment the team, he's very interested in the blockchain um, digital currency area, yeah. so that really complements the other skills we have in the team, yeah. so it'll be really exciting. And yeah. uh, just on a side topic, is that like what's your HR recruitment process like? Is it stringent? Uh, do you, is there any set questions or you just. Uh, well, he was someone we knew. Um, we grappled very much with if he didn't accept what what we would do because I think our culture is so important to us and yeah. having the right person. Um, we hadn't yet jumped that hurdle of how we would find that, but very critical about hiring the right person yeah, for that yeah, role. Yeah, sure. And um, how, how many are here in the team? So we have... Um, three lawyers at the moment, including myself, so he'll be the fourth. We have a, a digital marketing person, Megan Cannon, yep. and then our software developer um, has his own business but works with us yep. in our office yep. to develop our products. Good. And obviously you use, you use social media at the moment, yes. so what, what platforms are we using? We are using Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook. <laughs> Um, we will be soon setting up a YouTube channel if we haven't already. Yeah. Um, but using those channels. Yeah, sure. And yeah. they go they go well for really you. Really well. Yeah. 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 I think being able to build a national profile quickly. Yeah. Um, it's been really good using yeah. those platforms. And I suppose the typical, uh, you know, law firm probably is not playing that space. They're mm. not. They're not really engaging in social media or thinking that Instagram is probably not a good fit for a legal firm because yeah. it's all about images. And, yeah. Um, but I'm, I'm sure you, you've proven that's not the case. Absolutely. I think at the end of the day, people you work with, clients work with, want to know who you are yeah. and to have a human side. So we say our Instagram is sort of us yeah. having fun, being yeah. normal people. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, Facebook is a way to communicate with people very well with articles and yeah. things like that. Yeah, LinkedIn, LinkedIn is more professional. Yeah. Um, but I find a lot of the, particularly in the disruptor space, they're not always going to be on LinkedIn. Yeah. They're more on Twitter, Facebook. Yeah. 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 And last couple, where where can people find you other than on the, on the internet? So yep. www.kitlegal.com.au um, same that that has links to all our social platforms from there. Yeah. And your address. Address is level one one thirty Franklin Street. Brilliant. And that's it from for me. Um, look, if you want to hit up a, a wonderful lawyer and a good team that are just starting out, then check out that that domain and um, or shoot me a message. So thanks very much. Thank you.